YouTube. I see it's recording. I'm recording this on my phone. Um, it's windy outside. Of course, outside. Um, and the phone, uh, recording with my phone, I can put it a lot closer to me. In fact, I can touch my phone. So that's really better for our the sound quality I hope uh, yeah you can see me so. um, today I have a mishmash of hobbit wheat and malted dolce and some other bits of tobacco in it mixed it up together so I get um, a little sweet kick out of this uh, smoke. I'm gonna smoke it in my the second um, clay pipe that I bought. I didn't do a box opening video, I'm sorry, but it was kind of sketchy whether the pipe would have survived the trip. So I ripped it open and I saw the pipe just in one piece. And the tobacco chamber is a little more upright and it's really thin and it's slightly less lesser bent than the first clay pipe. So this is more feminine. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. So both pipe pipes had a little bit of a weird smell so I put both pipe, pipes in the oven at 150 degrees Celsius and baked them for an hour oh sweet scoop it a little bit Gently, don't want to break my pipe. But there are really awesome pipes, and I find you get, a, or at least I get, a little bit longer smoke out of a bowl of this clay pipe then I get out of my briar pipes I don't know if if it has to do something with the, with um, how big the chamber is or something I don't know it's slightly bigger than the briar pipes of course so and I I'm drinking um, some coffee with no sugar. Sorry for the slurping, it's just a little bit too hot. So Sorry, a little bit, a little piece of tobacco. <laughs> I'm not spitting, real spit, that's awful. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, this is the awesome temper that I got from Lester. This 
is a nicer way of doing it. Good smoking clay pipe. Unless your tobacco is coming out. Mm. I thought this was dry enough. my thumb a little bit so thumbs up for me Oof. second time and it's going out this is going nowhere fast you know just keep on lighting until it's lit I need to turn my Zippo lighter insert into a pipe insert. And I know there's someone that's drilling out those inserts, but they don't add the, the cap over the insert. little cap that's going over the insert and drilled with a little hole I believe it's a 16 mil hole but that would turn it into a real um, real pipe insert or at least that's that is what I want and I thought you know I can I still have, have to ask Sipo in America if they would like to trade my insert for a pipe insert but then I have to pay for at least uh, back and forward uh, shipping costs And the whole lighter uh, cost me around five euros so that's yeah and of course it's an old lighter so I don't think it's worth the effort so what I'm doing, I will turn the inside insert into a pipe insert, my way, and later this year or maybe early next year, um, maybe I buy a uh, Sippo straight from the factory Zippo factory in um, in America <laughs> Ah, this is so good People often talk about a ghost from an aromatic. But 
I found if you if you buy a a state pipe from a, from a collector uh, they often um, had these pipe on had these pipes on display. Then you get um, a library like smell in your pipes, and and with a hint of used underwear. I don't like it at all, and it ruins your tobacco. But with these uh, clay pipes, you can rinse them out with hand warm water or blood warm. Just rinse them out and with a uh, middle soft toothbrush, a new one, you can clean the bowl and the outside of the pipe and then you can bake them in the oven for an hour or maybe two hours and it will burn the library ghost right out of your pipe That's really neat. So I didn't find out myself. Somebody told me you can bake these pipes in the oven and it doesn't matter, it doesn't do any damage. So I just did it and it didn't do any damage. <sighs> Little while back Lester bought a couple of clay pipes, a um, little bit shorter than mine, um, but I really can recommend Lester to smoke them pipes because it's really nice, it's really good smoke. Of course no tongue bite. It's a dry smoke because, well, there isn't any moisture in the pipe when I'm smoking it, even with Malta Dolce. There's no moisture. And you can smoke it like a freight train, but I don't recommend that with aromatic tobaccos. But for the pipes it doesn't matter. And I haven't detected any ghost yet. I have smoked Malta Dolce straight and right after the Malta Dolce I smoked another um, lighter aromatic and I, I didn't detect any ghost.
sometimes in the retro hail you get a little tiny taste, a hint of the material, the clay. And that leaves a little bit of tangy, tangy taste. But it's only a hint and not all the time, it's just sometimes you're puffing away, you do a hate retro hail and there it is, ping. It doesn't ruin the taste of the tobacco, your aromatic. So, enough about clay pipes. What do I know about it? It's my second clay pipe. Ah, what a day. So this morning I was editing a video and at the end of my video I put in a little video clip of Gobus chewing on his uh, on his bone. <laughs> and I put a little bit of uh, music under the video, not too loud of course, just in the background a little music that I got from a free to use music list for YouTube creators. And for the first time when I wanted to when I put the video in my YouTube list, YouTube account thing, I got this warning that I'm about to use content that is copyrighted. Well, YouTube is wrong. Sorry YouTube, but you're wrong. A. I didn't monetize my channel because of all the rules and all the rules keep changing a little bit here and there. Um, and because YouTube will interfere with your videos or remove them completely So I didn't monetize my channel. I always put um, when 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 music is copyrighted, I put it, I put it in the under the video from who the the music uh, or the content as they call it from who it is and. If I can use it, so um, yeah, I didn't monetize my channel, so and B, I only use music that isn't copyrighted at all. It's all from music lists on YouTube, free to use for YouTube. Um, so it shouldn't be a problem. And well, 
they didn't um, delete the video until yet you know um, they, they still could do something but They didn't silence the um, the music, so and also I don't know how I can come in contact with YouTube, where I can ask someone. Um, what I'm allowed to do with my channel um, what music I can play when I'm not monetizing my channel because if you are looking for contact information you get all these frequent ask, asked questions with the answers to their questions and my question isn't isn't there so it's really hard to get someone on the other side from YouTube um, where you can ask your own question and get an answer from YouTube self, you know? Because I like playing by the rules so I can keep my channel with its content and make everybody happy. should have been easy to contact someone with YouTube oh well let's see what happens I'm not changing anything about my video I'm not uh, taking out the music that I put under the video clip of uh, Cobus I want. I know my rights. So. Well. Let's think about happy happy thoughts mm. the weather is really nice nice cool breeze clear blue skies I'm on my way to 200 subscribers that's really awesome and you know I really want to do a giveaway when I hit that 200 subs milestone ah. Also I haven't, I have not tried yet to do a live stream, um, I don't know exactly how it works, so I have to try and try and try, um, so 
in the near future, <laughs> one of these days, you will see a video live stream popping up and perhaps disappear again. But that's just me trying out something I don't know how it works. So I found the button for a live stream, but I don't know what happens when you press live stream. Um, will it go live instantly or do you have to fill something in and press some more buttons? I don't know. But I will experiment with that. Also, when I do a live stream, <coughs> I will do it on my computer, not on my phone, because I don't know how my phone will react on a live stream and who. But my computer is in the house, of course, so I can't smoke a pipe in the house because it's not my house. And so. Let's see, there was an incoming call, I just clicked it away. That's really the downside of recording with your cell phone. It's still recording. It's amazing, isn't it? Recording with a cell phone. Phew. That's really weird in my autistic mind. <laughs> Well, it's really hot outside, so I'm really glad it's the wind is here to cool me off a little bit, so I stay happy. <laughs> I saw Onion this morning in a video from All Pops. He's on his way to uh, Virginia. So I saw Onion in color. Yes! My gosh, it's still recording. I'm working my mm, off on our camper. We gave our camper a nose job and I welded an uh, a lot of pieces in our cabin floor. Oh boy, the mail delivery van stopped in front of the house. I hope 
hope he's got the package for me. Well, if I suddenly take off, there is a package for me. So let's, fingers crossed. I always like it to receive packages. It's like my birthday. Without being a year older. I think my neighbors getting a package. It's probably they are not home. Oh. Darn! No package for me today. looks funny when you think about you know in perspective of this delivery guy he, he sees me every day watching for him <laughs> uh, oh well ah oh, this is such good tobacco That's really something from the night with your windows down, really hard music, loud music. Oh well, as long as they have fun. I'm really looking forward to. Uh, take our holiday trip with a camper we got two weeks to travel around wherever we're going I really want to make a pit stop in Switzerland I reckon it's gonna be a two or three days trip to reach uh, Switzerland because we don't drive all day. Coming a long video. I'm sorry, guys. But you know, I'm half halfway through the ball. It's really relaxing, smoking the church warden clay pipe. they should really make 
some kind of kind of rubber bit around the end here or around the bottom because you know I, I try my best to just put it on my lips but sometimes it it, it hit my my teeth and if you're not careful you wear your teeth down And you're not going to be a happy camper. <laughs> so, it's about time. I'm going to do some painting of the cabin floor. And then probably uh, paint the back bumper. It's really just a solid steel uh, U beam. So I'm not too scared when someone riding my bumper. Because I will probably not even notice them hitting my back bumper when they do. <laughs> I sure hope not. Well, you know. Some people are in a hurry to go places and we will probably go around 90 kilometers per hour max. Because flat out it will it will go up to 106 kilometers per hour but we don't want to do that you know you don't want to put the pedal to the metal when you're driving hundreds and hundreds of kilometers in a mobile home <laughs> ah, it smokes so wonderful I'm still waiting for ooh, I'm still waiting for one package I sure hope it's on its way Don't blame the sender if it's still not on its way, but you know, that's life. I'm 
so looking forward to to that one package. Oh, now there's another package that's probably still on its way. Yeah, I'm waiting for two packages. One is from across the pond. Oh well, we'll see what happens. No. Ooh, the delivery van. Just turn around. And he's gone. Darn it. Ooh. <laughs> so, I'm about ready. Oh yeah, not a thing with a clay pipe. If you smoke it all the way down to the bottom. Um, until it, it goes out. There's just a tiny little bit of ashes in, in the bowl. And there's not, not much left. Uh, not much of ashes left in the bowl. Most times I smoke it all the way to the bottom and then it's almost gone, it's almost nothing. But now it's ready to go out. I need to do some some painting. I think I will show um, show off some of my work that I've done and I hope you like it. So you all stay safe enjoy your pipes um, yeah wash your hands as always and uh, enjoy the weather and I will see you all next time bye <laughs>